book review of The Institute by Stephen King and this is going to be spoiler free so if you haven't read the book it's totally okay to watch this and I'm glad you're here. I loved this book and I'm so excited to talk to you guys about it so let's just get started. This book was published in 2019 I believe so it's one of his newer works. It has 482 pages and this was my first ever Stephen King book and honestly I'm glad that this was the one because I feel like it's a perfect starter if, if you're like me and you haven't read any Stephen King yet. This I feel like is a perfect way to start because it's I feel like it's easy to read even if it's so huge and has a lot of pages and it's kind of like a slow story. I feel like it's fit with the story and I think it's perfect for starting out with Stephen King and because I read it super super quickly for being such a big book so this is one I definitely recommend if you're just starting out with Stephen King because I feel like his other books might be a little bit more intimidating and a little bit harder to get through I can imagine I don't really know because I haven't read them but yeah in here we follow two perspectives so the first perspective is Tim who is a former cop and he wants something more like calmer and quieter so he gets he gets the job at a local sheriff's office working at night in this small small quiet calm town in South Carolina you know not really expecting a lot to happen also working nights in this town is very very calm nothing really ever happens which is exactly what he wants and then we follow this other perspective where there's this 12 year old boy Luke who is a genius he is going up to college, he just aced the SAT test and he's only 12 years old. He's living in Minneapolis, I think, with his parents, you know, getting ready for college at this young age until one night he gets abducted from his own home, from his own bedroom. And when he wakes up, he wakes up at a place that looks exactly like his room, except there's no windows. So exactly like his room, but there's no windows. So he knows something is up, he knows he's been abducted. And he's been taken by the Institute, which is like a governmental facility that abducts children and takes them to do tests, experiments, and kind of brainwashes them. And each of these kids that they've taken have a special talent or gift call it whatever you want so they are either tk or tp so they have either the gift of telekinesis or telepathy so a lot of a lot of these kids can move stuff with their minds they can read minds they can hear or see things that they shouldn't be able to so that's why they have been chosen by the institute and later on the kids there also find out that there is more facilities like this all over the world so in all of the countries not just in america and this location is in Maine, like no, middle of nowhere in the dark deep forest in Maine. So, you know, no one has really, no one knows that this is going on. And Luke and his new friends there are trying and trying to find a way to escape, which no one has ever done ever in the Institute. And it's such a thrilling and gripping story and super dark and suspenseful and so cool. So this is a pretty big book, right? But I got it through so quickly because you kind of are like, you know, want to know what's going on all the time. And you know, escaping here feels like impossible because they are tracked, like their every movement is tracked. When they first arrived, the kids got like a little chip thing in their ear so they can keep track of every movement and everywhere they go so that no escape ever occurs. So obviously it's really difficult to escape and the kids know it. So they kind of trying to find a way with help from each other, like the kids all over the world, all over the different institutes, you know, they kind of try to connect and conversation with their gifts, you know, with the mind, and they're trying to come up with a plan and work together to escape, but also make sure that the institute can't abduct more kids and like to make it stop, which obviously isn't easy because who's gonna believe a bunch of kids over these adults that work in the government you know it's just it's really one of those books and so with these two perspectives so in the in the beginning you get to follow tim takes on this job as working in the local sheriff's office at night and then almost throughout the entire book you only follow luke and his perspective so you're kind of winning around just like wanting to these two paths to intersect right because you know that tim something is going up with tim right because he was in the beginning so he has to have a place or role in the book so you kind of just like waiting around for Luke and Tim's path to intersect or like Tim to help him or whatever and it's just it's so freaking 
good. I loved this book and I'm so glad I read it. It's definitely not going to be my last Stephen King book. So thrilling, dark, suspenseful, creepy, spooky, unbelievably good, honestly. And I really, really recommend it. And yes, it is slow at times. I know Stephen King is kind of like known for slow stories, I've heard at least. And yes, it is slow at times, but honestly, I think that fit the story. Like, it kind of was slow in a good way and kind of like, you kind of wanted to read more and more and it kind of worked the story, you know what I mean? And oh, so freaking good and I definitely recommend it. I gave it four out of five stars, which is a pretty good rating for being my first Stephen King book, I think at least. And oh, I love it so much. And look at this cover too, it's gorgeous. This is like a small paperback. I know there's a lot of different covers, a lot of different types of books like this. This one had pretty small text, which made it a little bit difficult to read at some points, but it was fine. It was fine. I I really, really enjoyed it. What also was really, really cool about this book is that like in the Institute, you didn't only get to follow Luke, who is the main character. You also got to follow a lot of the other kids that stairs, you know, a bunch of different ages and different genders. A lot of kids were there and you got to follow a few of them and their journeys and their thought process of not only Luke's, which I really appreciate, you know, you get to follow more than one kid. So yeah, really, really good and definitely recommend it if you haven't yet read it. If you have any questions about the book, please let me know in the comments. I'm not really good at expressing how I feel, I think, so maybe this wasn't a good video. I feel like I haven't done videos like this because I'm not good at expressing how I feel. Like, I feel all these things, but I'm not good at putting it out words. So we'll see how this goes, and I don't think it will be very long because it's like I don't really know how to express my feelings verbally. But yeah, if you have any thoughts or questions about the book, please let me know, or if you've read it or if you want to read it, let me know. We can talk about it. It would be so fun. But yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in one of my next videos. Bye!